it's interesting. If you dropped out of high school and did get your GED, 30% of you smoke. So for some reason, it jumps up 10%. So the people that dropped out of high school and they're like, I'm not going to get my GED, you're more likely to not smoke. But the people that are like, I dropped out, but I'm going to get my GED, you're more likely to smoke. If you have some college, but no degree, 16% and are likely to smoke. But if you ha have a bachelor's degree, only 5%. So those are the people in the same classes, in the same college classes. So the people that stuck it out for the four or five years and got their degree, only 5% of them smoke. The people that were like, ah, eh, I'm not gonna do this college thing. I'll just have some college in my resume. 17% of them smoke. So that tells you something, right? If you have a graduate degree, only 3% of them smoke. That's the lowest number on the, the list. So there's a direct correlation between how much education you have and um, if you're likely to smoke or not. Whereas marital status doesn't seem to be a difference. 